I wasn't always this way. I wasn't always this broken girl. There was a time that I was happy, that I was going to church. I loved God. I loved serving him. Jesus was my everything. He was my world. And then, then I met him. Turn it off. Yes, you did. I've been calling you and texting all night. You can go check your voice now. Yeah, that's probably why I died. You just kept blowing it up. Are you, are you serious right now? That's the best you can come up with? You're such a liar, man. Yeah. What the hell I got to lie for? Yo, I just asked you to let me kick it for one night. Like, you couldn't even give me a break for one night. Okay, Johnny. What I asked for was for you to check in. Like, if you were with your boys like you said you were, you would have answered the phone. Yo, I just want one night without you thinking I'm doing wrong. Just one. But you're always doing wrong, though. Like, don't act like you didn't make me this way. Yo, I didn't make you this way. Your insecurities made you this way. Okay, and you made me insecure. Okay. Like, it's 4 a.m., John. It's 4. The bar Man. closed at 2. It closed at 2. So where you been for the last two hours? We went to get food, Zara. Cool. Like, me. My friends, like, stop it. Like, you know who I'll be kicking it with. Look, if I'm going to cheat on you, I'm just going to go out and do it, period. All right, you already did tonight, so that's literally nothing new. Okay, so if I'm cheating on you and dogging you, then why are you still here? Turning off your phone, acting why, like it died. You, you were charging it before you left. You're such a liar. Ain't nobody lying, man. You are. I could literally, I don't have to put up with this. I could literally go and have anybody that I want. You think I can't, then but go. I can. Then go, go get the nigga. Go right ahead, and guess what? He gonna get to see exactly what you like and what I'm dealing with, and he not gonna wanna what, come what? with you and at all. What, what, he gonna cheat like, on me? He gonna cheat on me like you do? What? Yeah, yo, I'm not cheating on you no more. But but if I was, trust me, it, you gonna stay, and you gonna cry, and you're not going nowhere, so just, Chill out. I don't even know why we arguing about this this late. Like, leave me alone with this. Where are you going? We're not done talking about Get this. Get off me, man. Or what? Now Johnny. I can't touch you? Stop. What stop. are you going to do? Stop. What are you going to do? Stop. What are you going to do? Stop. Stop. Playing with me, man. I told you to stop playing with me. Come on, man. Me. That's me. Yeah. Man. We weren't always like this. There was a time that we both pursued God together. We loved him together, and we loved who we were together. We were happy. And then slowly, nothing meant more to us than the other person, and we allowed sin to creep in. And when sin creeps in, it ruins everything. It devours everything in its path, and eventually, it devoured us. Who you over there texting this early? My mama. Why you open my phone? You sure it ain't that new boyfriend you just talking about getting? Why are you bringing up old stuff? Oh, it's old, mama. Yeah, it's old. Oh, okay, yeah, We back right. together. <laughs> yeah, you see that video I posted to Grandpa earlier? Uh-uh, let me see. Yeah, it's funny, hold on, let me find it. Where you get this cat from? <laughs> <laughs> Where you get this from? Where you found it on the street? What you looking for? Where you get this cat from? Yeah. Where you get this from? Let me 
You good? Mm-hmm. It was funny. Well, temperature just changed just now. <laughs> well, who was that texting on your phone? It's probably just Mark. He told me he just got a new number. Oh, okay. So Mark's going to text you, hey, baby, on your phone? Man, you know this dude be playing around all the time. Playing? Don't nobody play with you like that. You think I'm stupid? Nah, but all right. I mean... Let How me, am I supposed to know who it is? The number wouldn't say. I just want to see. Then let me see. We'll find out together. We'll call her. <laughs> Come here, on. Here you go. Here I go. Nothing. I want to see who was texting on your phone. But I had a nice day planned for us, and you about to ruin it over some petty text message. How is it petty? I just want to see who was texting you this early. Did I trick when you was texting early? I was texting my mother. That's fine, but I wasn't all hovered over you trying to verify who it is. Like, I get an unknown text message, and you start tripping. Like, this is what I be talking about. What you mean this is what you be talking about? Like, you don't get it sometimes. It's, just, it's like I'm talking to a wall. Like, just drop it. Like, let's leave it alone. I'm going to just remove myself from the room and cool off. No, John, who was that texting you? I want to see who's texting you. Let me see it. Oh, bro, chill. John, stop. Hey, man, you don't give me my stop. phone. Stop, get off of me. It's my phone, man. Let me see it. Oh, bro. What you protecting so hard in there, huh? It's my phone. And I pay the bill on it. Hey? You don't pay nothing around here. I don't know how you can even afford to cheat. You can't even keep a job. That's real love, Lee. Like, you know my situation. You know what, let's leave it alone before I say something that's really gonna hurt your feelings. Say what you want, I don't care. Yeah, you do care. Who gonna want you? Who gonna want you? You lucky a man like me even give you the time of day. You was a bum when I met you. Didn't nobody want you, nobody. And ain't nobody gonna want you when I'm gone, watch. How can you even say that? You've never even had a woman like me. A woman like you? Really? You don't care about me the way you think you do. You don't listen to me, you don't pay attention to me, you barely act like I'm there. You just wanna argue. So I go somewhere where someone actually appreciates and wants me there. You treat me like I'm nothing sometimes, so I treat you the same way. But I'm the stupid one because I stay and try to make it work. Like, I'm trying, but you hovering over me and nagging me every mo about my every move, that's not helping me. Like, I'm not some little boy. How can I treat you like you're nothing when I literally made you my everything? I'm sure you got a funny way of showing it. Are you serious right now? I do everything for you. Everything. I cook for you. I'm home every night. I give you my body when you want it. I barely see my friends and family. And you're telling me that's not enough? You have all of my time, John. All of it. And that's not enough? When will I be enough? Man, I'm out. Where are you going? John, you're really gonna leave when it's like this. I'm out. John, stop. You're not leaving. Moves are. No. If you leave, it's over. Move. Stop, John. John knew how to get to me. He knew that his words hurt more than anything physical ever could. His words would hit somewhere deep in me. It would connect to something in me that didn't find myself valuable or lovable. Yet somehow, the harsher the words, the more I wanted him to love me. Mom? Mom? Mama! Where are you? Girl, can't you come all the way in the house and look for me first before you start screaming like there's a fire? <laughs> Mom, I'm sorry. I'm never like I, that you ain't sorry at all. <laughs> Have a seat. Okay. How's Mommy's princess doing? Um, I'm cool. How's everything going at work? It's going cool. Oh, how's your writing going? Uh, it's going cool. Mm. How's John? Mm. He's cool. Say cool one more time. Okay. Say cool one more I'm time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was saying it so much. Jeez. Yep. You tend to say that when you're trying to keep me out your business. 
What's going on? Talk to me. I already know what you're going to say. Try me. Okay. So, me and John got into a fight. Oh, but man. it's nothing serious. So, just don't go tripping. What makes you think I would trip? Because that's what you do. Every time. I just tell you the truth. And that's something you tend to not want to hear lately. Here it goes. <laughs> I'm just worried about you, Z. That's all. Worried? Why? You will have nothing to be worried about. Couples argue all the time. Like, you and Daddy. You guys fight all the time. And guess what? You work it out. Apples and oranges, baby. Don't compare the two. Your father and I are married. <sighs> Okay, but a relationship is a relationship, married or not. But the difference here, honey, is that you can leave. You can leave without having to get a divorce. You can leave without having to go through custody battles. Your money's not all tied up, so you can just get your little self up and just walk away with nothing attaching him to you except memories. All I'm trying to do is get you to see the reality of what your situation is. Sometimes when we're blinded by what we think love is, we can't see the forest for the trees. You can't see what's right in front of you. It wasn't always bad, Mom. It isn't always bad. I wouldn't be with him still if it was. Oh, see? Is that all you guys got? That it wasn't always bad? The fact that you guys were healthy at one point? You holding on to the potential of what he could be one day. Uh, but he's not that today. Mom. It wasn't always bad, Mom. I just never saw this for you, Z. You are an extraordinary woman with an extraordinary purpose attached to your life. God has so much more for you. And Zara, Jesus loves you. He just wants you to bring your heart home. What, you think going to church is just gonna fix everything? That could work for you, but that doesn't work for me. The relationship you have with God is home. And when you find him again, then you're gonna find yourself, see? And you'll realize that this situation that you're dealing with now, that's just not it. My mother's words were ringing in my ears. Home for me was Jesus. The last time I felt safe was with him. The last time I felt whole, secure, wanted, everything I had been looking for in John. I already had in Jesus. I had just been too ashamed to go home, too ashamed to go to him. All the times I would pray, asking why John didn't love me the way I deserved to be loved, wondering where we went wrong, asking God to fix John, to fix us. I felt ashamed because I had placed John for Jesus. I had switched out my gods. How would he ever take me back? How would he ever love someone like me? I knew I deserved better. I knew I shouldn't be with John. I knew I should leave. I knew that when I finally did leave, my quality of life would become so much better. Zara? I knew God didn't want this for me. Zara? I knew God should mean more, right? Yo, Z. He should be worth it. Thank you.
I knew this. And I hated myself so much for knowing this. I love you, Zara. And staying. <laughs>